Hello and welcome to this week's Angel Oracle card reading for week commencing the 9th of September 2024. My name is Ray and I'm a guide who helps you remember your divine presence so that you can heal your past, find your purpose, create your future, raise your consciousness, come out of that spiritual closet, step onto your path so you can take charge of your destiny to become who you are supposed to be in this lifetime. Now, this week we're using the Goddess Dream Oracle Cards by Wendy Andrew, and that was just Elsie going out. But as always, before we get into this week, into the reading, I would like to say thank you so, so much for your continued support. It really does mean a lot to me to be able to be of service to you and for you to trust me enough to use my services. So thank you so, so much. And with that in mind, um, I've, with helping people, the uh, Angel Wings membership is going to be opening again um, in the next few weeks. So if you're interested in having more one-to-one uh, -one experiences with me, um, you want to become part of a community that all supports each other, helps you on your spiritual growth um, through meditation, cards, uh, masterminds, you know, there's so much that goes on in the membership, um, then please do uh, check it out. And of course, everything else that I do offer. Um, and of course, do, um, if you've already started noticing, look out for the photographs that I had taken, um, the new photographs I've had taken for uh, my business. Um, they're beautiful photographs by the wonderful Graham Baker. Um, and I've got some more to put, put on. So I'm still sorting through them, but so bear with us. Anyway, as always, I give the cards a quick cleanse and a bless. So, what does everyone who's watching this need to know for their high school the week commence in the 9th of September 2024? What does everyone who's watching this need to know for their high school the week commence in the 9th of September 2024? Okay, so they're making me work for the cars this week. So let's see what we can. We've got cars we get come out. Okay, so let's have a look. So we have got serenity, be calm. We have got forgiveness, compassion and kindness. And we have got courage, courage in the face of conflict. Okay, so what these cards are saying this week is that no matter what is going on around you this week, this is your chance to actually step forward, to, to actually be who you are supposed to be, to have the courage to speak your truth. This is the week not to cower behind, um, not cower, but not to hide behind um, people, places, situations. You've got the opportunity this week to actually have the courage um, to, to step forward, to do the right thing. And the best way of doing that is to have serenity, to be in a calm, in a calm state, in a flow of calmness when you're dealing with, with things, which can be really hard, I know, because when you've got all this conflict and stuff going on around you, you can kind of like think, Aah! but they're saying, you know, you need to be calm with it this week. You need to Okay, let me centre myself. Let me take five minutes. Go to the bathroom, whatever. Okay, breathe. Just centre myself. Be calm. Okay, connect with your heart. I can do this. I have a strong heart. You know, I, 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 can, I can step forward. I can tell the truth. I can be the truth. I can make a difference. And another way this may show up is that you've got to have forgiveness. Now, forgiveness is not something, um, it's not a weak thing. Forgiveness does not mean you forget something. Um, forgiveness is literally having compassion and kindness for the other people in the situation, for yourself. You know, if you're kind of like, eh, and thinking, oh, I can't be calm, can't be calm, can't be calm. Have compassion and kindness for yourself. Take that time to, to be with you, to do something that makes you feel good so you can go forward with courage 
and face whatever it is you need to face. And it may not be um, something personal to you. It may be something, you know, outside of you that you're being drawn into. Again, you know, you have the, you have the power, you have the courage this week to go, no, I don't want to be involved. That is your situation for you to deal with. You know, I'll send you love, I'll hold the space, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll send compassion and love to you. And, but I'm going to stay calm in my space. Yeah, so, th so this week really, it is a case of just being strong for yourself. Have the courage to stand up for what you know is right for the highest good of yourself and others. And if need be, you know, have compassion, love, forgiveness for yourself and for others and stay calm no matter what's going on around. If you can find that still center point whilst others are losing their heads, literally not to speak, um, you know, then you can move forward and you can create that perfect situation for things to resolve themselves and for love and compassion to be all around. Anyway, that's my interpretation of the cards. You may get a completely different interpretation and that is absolutely fine. I draw these cards for what you need to know for your highest good. So the cards again, we have courage, courage in the face of conflict. You've got this. Know that you are strong. Forgiveness, compassion and kindness. Be kind and compassionate, not just to yourself, but to others. And remember, forgiveness is not weak. It's not a forgetting. It's just allowing you to step into that serenity, into that peace, into that calm. So please do let me know in the comments or message me privately whether this reading resonated with you, um, you've got a completely different interpretation, one card stood out more than the others. I always love to hear from you and I always reply to everyone who either comments or uh, messages me direct. And of course, don't forget to uh, check out the Angel Wings membership. Um, we, we'd love to welcome you into the membership. Everything else I'm doing, I'm currently running Angelic Reiki workshops at the moment. And uh, in November, I'm going to be running the Future Life Progression um, training where you get to learn how to take people forwards and backwards in time. So past life regression is included in that as well as experiencing it yourself and lots of other things um, to become a future life progression practitioner and of course don't forget to check out my show angels and destiny which if you're watching this on sunday the 8th is taking place on monday the 9th at 8 p.m uk time where i've got sally shakti willow as my beautiful guest so i'm really looking forward to that conversation of course if you're watching later in the week watch the replay um, you always get so much benefit whether you watch live or the replay so have a wonderful week take care and i'll speak to you next week bye